Joseph. I'm back at you with another episode of Art and the Garden, where I bring you two things that I have an enormous passion for, my art and my container garden. So, let's grow. So I will start uh, by first sharing with you uh, a new piece I'm working on, Sunflowers and Ivy. And uh, I'm working on this. And while, while I'm, I'm blocking in some color, I'm just going to share with you a little bit about this episode and what it's all about. Uh, I began my container garden uh, back in May 2022. And I did a, my first video was uh, starting the container garden. Uh, so this is sort of an update. This is ep episode two, and this is sort of an update of where I started, where I am now uh, with the container garden. Everything seems to be going pretty good. I'm, I'm liking the results so far. I'm learning a lot, and which is great. And, um, you know. I'll take you for a tour. Ready? Let's grow. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess I will start here with the cantaloupes. The cantaloupe plants started uh, from seeds and are doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, I probably will put them in larger containers <laughs> next time I put some down, but so far producing a little fruit. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, you know, the other one uh, is growing pretty good. So um, yeah, I'm excited about the cantaloupe. They're looking good, but I'm so furious with my dogs. They bite up my ginger. They chew up my... Uh, my purple hull peas over here. Ah, I don't know what to do with them. Here's that loquat tree. I can't wait to uh, when that start producing. Uh, on this side, my grow table, I still have some okra coming up. I have uh, my pineapple tops here. Got a few other things growing. Some Argentias here. This is where I started uh, with my store-bought green onion. This is what I have now. Uh, I have more, actually, in some other containers. My mare lemon tree is doing really well. Um, looking forward to putting that in a bigger container uh, moving forward. Still not sure. I was Like I said, I was told this was a grapefruit tree, but the leaves are so small. But I'm trying to get it back going uh, and see what happens with that. Also, my um, avocado tree. And across the way, uh, my sunflowers on this side is growing well. I love these sunflowers. My wife loves sunflowers, so I plant them every year. This is where my okra started. I started in one bucket with, and if you notice the one is really, really taking off. The other ones are doing pretty, they're there. I don't know about pretty good. Ah, this cucumber. Oh my goodness. I am, I am really impressed with it. It started here um, from seeds and now it is really, really growing. I need to prune it, get some of these leaves, get that air flowing uh, through the plant. Uh, and this Argentia. That's that Argentia. I love that plant. It's really a beautiful bloom uh, that it produces. It produces a wonderful flower. I hope it serves as a pollinator also. Um, and here is the other okra. My pineapple 
and rosemary there in the corner. Some more Argentinas I have right here. Uh, this cabbage came from a cabbage bottom. <laughs> I cut it off, um, put it in a bag and let it root a little bit. Uh, began to, uh, then I put it in some soil and it began to produce. And next thing I know, I was able to transplant it into a bigger pot. Still waiting to see what happens with these russet potatoes and here's some more green onions. My sugar baby, oh my goodness. It started, I started it with a seed from seeds and um, so far, pretty good. I'm, I, I've never grown watermelon before, but I started here. Uh, and once I got, you know, pretty a pretty good size, I transplanted it. And now I'm just going to let it vine all over the place. I'm not going to try to trellis it or anything like that. I'm just going to put it on, let it vine all over the place and see where it goes. My squash, I shrugged my shoulders with my squash. Um... It start, they started here, and now I find myself kind of, you know, shrugging my shoulders. I say that because they produce flowers, but I find myself uh, wrestling with, you know, what is the best approach for managing bugs and things like that. So here we go. I, and the supplies I use are over here, potting soil, potting mix, uh, cow manure. Uh, I use mulch uh, and compost. Compost is really important uh, for my container garden, okay? So, hey, I hope you like what you see. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And I guarantee you, I'll keep you updated on how this garden is coming along and how yours can be a success as well. So, until next time, Let's grow.